Okay, so I teased this earlier today, but uh, I think this is a pretty cool thing. So we're going to talk about using huddle data in Excel and specifically using pivot tables and the different things you can do. So first thing I'm always going to do, uh, whether it's for Excel or whether I'm going to do a report in huddle, I really like to clean up my playlist. So I'm going to take whatever games we have and save it as a new playlist. So all I have here is offensive clips. So I don't want anything beyond that. It just helps the data move smoother. I don't really need any of the rest of that stuff. So I'm going to get all my offensive clips, save a playlist. Once I've clicked on that playlist, playlist down here on the right-hand corner, uh, these three dots, we're going to click on Export Data to Excel. Click on that button. It does not take very long. i got 250 clips in here. It's going to take 10 seconds. Once you've done that, you're going to click on your Excel file. Once that loads here, uh, we're going to have all that data. So all that stuff we could just see in Huddle is right here. Sometimes when I use Huddle and I got these big playlists of 220 clips and I start sorting, it doesn't necessarily do what I need to do. So I like to bring it into Excel here and figure it out. So all you got to do here is click on any box. It doesn't matter which box. You go up here to the very top. You go to Insert. And the very first thing we're going to click on is Pivot Tables. It gives you some, some work. You hit OK. And what's going to happen is it's going to create a new sheet down here. So sheet number two now is my pivot table. Uh, and over here on the right, you're going to have all of your different topics. So anything that we have uh, broken down, anything that was visible on our huddle screen uh, is now in the columns over here. And down here in this box, there are four different categories you can put stuff in. And the cool thing about pivot tables is you can get new reports really easily just based on where you put things. So let's start off with down. So if I pull down in here to rows, it's going to make me rows. So one, two, three, and four. doesn't tell me a whole lot in it yet. Um, in columns now, I'm going to say, all right, so I want to know by down, what, what are they going to run? Are they going to run a pass or are they going to run? So I click on play type because that's like where it's pass or run. I'm going to pull that into, into there. Still haven't done anything yet because I need something in my values. It's got to count something. So I don't really care what it counts because I, all I really want is a count. So I just pulled the ODK in there now. And so it's counting the amount of offensive plays. So on first down, they are running 48 passes, 64 runs for 112 plays. Um, you can look at it just like that. If you're a guy that, that wants to look at it differently, you can right click on one of these boxes and we can show the values as different things. So you can summarize differently. I like showing the values. Uh, I'm going to go uh, ch -ch 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 row total, percent of row total. So that's going to say, all right, on third down, when they're in third down, it's 55% pass, 45% run. When they're on second down, 59% pass and 40% run. Real quick, uh, you can do that in huddle as well, but I like being able to adjust things a little bit differently. So let's say I don't want to look at that. I want to look at something a little bit different. Let's say I want to look at hash. So I can go through and delete something that we don't need anymore. Um, we've got hash left, middle, right. Um, let's take off play type. Let's do what's their offensive strength. So based on hash, are they putting strength into the boundary or not? Where's offensive strength? Sorry. Uh, offensive strength, pull that down. Now we can get a real quick thing. When they're on the left hash, they're strong right most of the time, which is what you would expect. In the middle, they're more of a right-handed team. So maybe that week I'm telling my kids uh, we're going to call the strength to the right if it's if it's balanced in the middle. Um, and then strong right, we're going to the left. So you could find if a team is, <coughs> is particularly strength-based or not. You can do that, or you could then do something different. So... Um, I'm a big formation guy, so let's remove some of this stuff and let's go some formations. Um, offensive formation, pull that into rows, and then let's do run pass. So play type, pull that into columns. Here we go. Now I have every formation they've ran, and I've got how many times they, or what their percentage is. If I want to go back to show values as no calculation, now I can see that, hey, when they're in ace, they've done that 37 times. They're 50-50 pass run. When they're in tray, they're, they're significantly more pass. There's a lot of things you can do. All of this stuff is one click away. The cool thing is every time I use this program, 
um, and start messing around, I always find something I like better. So let's say I pull down down here into into filters. And so up here on the top now, I've got this column that I can filter. Let's say I only want to look at third down data. So if I click OK there, now it's only telling me what these formations, what do they run, pass and run on third down. So every time they line up in trips on third down, it's a pass. Uh, things like that. Now obviously you can take how important that is to you, but it's a really cool feature. The more things you look at, the more interesting stuff you're going to get. And it, if you take these things and you move them differently, so hey, we're an ace, and so I just put backfield down here. If their tray and their back is even or weak, didn't really have a big difference on it. Some two weeks it does. Or we could say, hey, what kind of, where are their backfields? What formations are they running? Anytime you play around with something down there, it's going to tell you something different. You can add more things to any of these columns, and every time you move something, you get something new. So something I would check out. The more you play around with it, the better you're going to be. Uh, but I, that's something that's helped me a lot, especially with when I did my defensive analysis and looked through everything we've done. Um, it, it's really powerful. Thanks.